Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Zero Gravity Gaming here. Welcome to episode number one of, or part number one of how to make a track using Sandbox for NR2003. I have tried numerous times to make one. For some reason, it keeps crashing. So I'm not sure why. I hope it won't crash during this tutorial. So, let's get into this. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this website right here. Um, I'll put that in the description. It will have the sandbox track editor right there and WinMip2. Those are two of the main things that you want to make a track. You will need them to make the track. So just click on that and that and then you will have them downloaded. I already have them downloaded right there. And I changed the background on my laptop. Um, got totally accurate battle simulator. Um, back to the tutorial. Okay, so once you have downloaded these two items, you, you can pause the video while, just while that's done. Um, what you're gonna do is, so you're gonna go into your tracks folder make that full screen um you're gonna copy a track um i'm going to make a copy of i make sure you choose a track that does have like a lot of mips that you can use and if you've already downloaded tracks you can totally use those but i re recommend using uh, tracks that are already that ca that came with the game. Um, I kind of want it to be a knight, so I'm gonna copy Texas Knight FSE. You're gonna copy that, and you're gonna paste it. Now you can rename this to whatever you want, but I am going to be making my own track. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna select that, right click, you're gonna copy that, whoops, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Now you're gonna go into that folder, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find these two files right here. Your cam file and your dat file. And what you're going to do is you're going to paste that in there. You're going to just do the same for your dat file. Now what you can do is you can go into here. And you can change this to whatever you want. And control B, city, it's in rank team. This is going to be a track in Canada through Alberta. And now you can just hit save. So, I will be right back. Okay, so next you're going to want to open up WinMip2. So once you've opened that up, you're going to go to Extras, Unpack, you're going to go into your Tracks folder, you're going to go into the folder we just made, and you're going to click Open on your .dat file. Your dot .dat file. Now this may take a while, depending on how fast your computer is and how much space you have on your computer. Um, I don't have that much space, so 
Okay, so it's finished now. Now you're gonna go, want to go back into extras. You're gonna click unpack. You're gonna go into your tracks folder. You're gonna go down to shared. You're gonna unpack your shared dot dat file. So once again, this might take a while. Actually, it went pretty quick for me. So now what you can do is you can just X out of it. And go back into your tracks folder. Now you're gonna go all the way down to your shared. You go into unpack. You're gonna click control A. You're gonna right click, copy, go back, go back again, and go into your folder that we created. Go into unpack and paste. Now, do not click copy, but keep both fi both files. So you're gonna check. Do this for the next however many conflicts. You're going. Don't click any of this. You're gonna click skip. Skip all of those files okay so now that you have done this what you can do is you can X out of this and go into sandbox now what you want to do is whoops excuse me you're gonna click unlock all geometry you're gonna click create right click and create a straight now I'm gonna go file save and you're gonna find our new track folder that we made so click open unpack oh um actually before you do that you're gonna go want to go back into your new track folder I completely forgot about this. You're gonna find the cam. No, oh, sorry. You're gonna go into the unpack. And then you're gonna scroll down until you find the cam file. So I'll, I will show you that. So scroll down to your track folder. Go into unpack. You're gonna scroll down until you find the until you see the original track name um so because I did Texas Night FSE it's gonna be right here you're gonna wanna right click and you're gonna wanna rename that the same you want gonna want to go back down into this and you're gonna rename that the same as your track folder name so here it is now we're done in this so you can go back into sandbox and go file save you're gonna go into your new track folder Unpack, click on that, and click save. If this comes up, click yes. You're going to go new, open, and open that up. Now, I am very, like, precise about where I put this. It doesn't matter if you guys don't care, but for me, it completely matters. So, you're going to right click, sorry, you're going to right click, unlock all geometry, now you're going to move that to wherever you want, because I am very precise, I'm going to zoom right in, I'm going to put it right there, that's... pretty close okay so 
let's go through the basics. So these here are your X sections. You can do whatever you want with these. Oh, sorry. What you want to do is you want to go into View up the top next to File, View, Display Units. You want to go set that to Feet. Um, unless, like, you know, you're from, like, I think it's the UK, or a bunch of those, um, use it to whatever it is in your country, or wherever you live. Uh, but for me, it would be feet. You're gonna want to move this to, whoops, wherever you want, so... Because this is a very wide but short track. I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this one down to about there. Um... Not how close. Whoa, I'm way off. Um, so yeah. For these, you do want to be on the lines. So that they're exact. That's pretty close, actually. Let's check out the other one. Also, once again, way off. Okay. that one's close okay so here is your first section oh yeah this long purple line running up against the back that is the start finish line <coughs> <coughs> sorry um next what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want right click go insert insert an F section now, F sections are your, like, track, like, laying out, basically. So, your pavement, your grass, your, yeah, all that stuff. So, you're going to want to put one. Don't move it up to the red line, because we still have to access it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another F section. I'm going to move it right up to that line. How close is that? I'm a little bit off, so... Do that. Uh, this is going to be in a lot of parts. And this, this project, this takes patience, 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 and skills so if you're not one of those people that don't want that are not well if you don't want to have patience and stuff um don't do this that's all i can say okay so here's our first f section now you're gonna want to you're gonna want to hover over your icon at the bottom for sandbox so hover over this F section properties and if this isn't already unlocked click unlock materials grass racing surface and go scroll down to grass zero one now, override default text params, make this 1, make this 4. Now you can just click here. So that is going to do it for part 1. I will see you guys in part 2. Bye for now.